Hello, my name is Jan Ketil Röth and I will in this video show you how water bodies typically are represented in GIS. I have here open QGIS with a linear feature of water bodies in Trondheim. If I zoom in on an area, we can investigate some of the linear feature here using the identify button found up here. Moving this into the map and clicking on a feature, this will highlight with the red and the row from the attribute table representing this feature, this line, is then displayed in the pop-up window here. So they say that this is an object type open ditch along a road. We can find another linear feature like this one here. This says it's having an object type a stream and the third one, which is the river bank. So these are three different objects type represented as a linear feature. This information here can also be obtained from selecting the feature and viewing it in the attribute table. We select it, open the attribute table and display the selected feature. We see here that this is uh, an open ditch along the road. We can select this feature and see that there is this a stream. And we can select the third feature and saying this is a bank of the river. The river Nidalvan, which is much larger, much wider, must be represented as a polygon. So let's have a look also at the polygon feature. So here we see that the river Nidalvan is represented as polygon feature. It may look a bit strange that only about half of the river is represented as a polygon feature here, but this is because we have cut all the features to the watershed. And the watershed boundary typically goes along the middle of the river. So that's why the water polygons here are stopping in the middle of the river. We can also have a further look on the object types typically found in the polygon layer of a feature class of um, water bodies. And here we have river, which is uh, this part of polygon feature. We have some part of the lower river, which is classified as ocean. And we have some small lakes. We can zoom to one of them and we see that this is a small water body located in a park. We also have two features having object type channel, which is hardly visible in the map, but we can select them and zoom to them and we see where they are. 